Virgo. Hi, Virgo. How are you? I am Ashley, of course, here to do a twin flame reading, okay? Again, general, not personal. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Okay, again, it's twin flame. So if you don't have a twin flame, then you may find that it doesn't resonate. And again, that's okay with me. Let's just see what's going on. Let's just see what's happening. So first things first, Virgo, someone says, I know I messed up everything. Okay, so someone is kind of like blaming themselves for whatever this is that has happened or whatever has gone on. It's like they know they're the blame, even if they are deciding or trying to like put it on you. It's like deep down inside, they know that it's them. You know, they know that they are the ones that have caused you or caused you to feel this way. It's like they know that they could have done more. They know that they could have moved uh, like things in a different manner, a different direction. But I do see, like I said, that someone is blaming themselves right now. I did pull a card. It says, I wish I had treated you better. And so that's why I said it feels like they know that they messed it up. It's like, I don't know, Virgo, if someone is kind of like in regret now or they're kind of just like reminiscing. Okay. But it's like they are looking back at the past is what it kind it seems like and then looking back at the past it does feel like they're blaming themselves for whatever this is you know they're blaming themselves for the fact that things did not quite go the way that you anticipated the way they anticipated it's like they know they didn't put enough effort. Now it's like, I don't know, someone just kind of seems to be reminiscing or I don't know what's happening, Virgo, but it seems like someone's wishing that they would have treated you better. You're on their mind. It says, we both know I'm not the one for you. Okay. So it's like deep down inside, it's like someone knows you deserve better. You know, it's like in a way they are lacking confidence or they have some insecurities that make them feel that you were not the one for them, that make them feel that you deserve better. It's kind of like when they're around you, with you, next to you. I'm not sure if it's just your energy. I'm not sure what you do for a living or if you're very popular or if you're just very beautiful, but it's something about it. It's almost like they feel like you deserve someone on your level you deserve someone again a bit better than them to be honest with you it's kind of what it looks like and i am grateful for the spiritual lesson <clears throat> i'm sorry i am grateful for the spiritual lesson so virgo this could be you you know, just looking at it and trying to remain positive despite how you feel or despite what's going on. It's like you are able to kind of look at the spiritual lesson in this situation. And I do see that it has taught you something, whether this is about the past, whether this is about moving forward. It looks like you have learned something. Again, like I said, just trying to remain positive because it really could have pissed you off. It really could have kind of taken you there, Virgo. Okay, but I do see that there's some type of transformation or something that helps you to elevate within this connection. Okay, spirit, what's the obstacle for Virgo and their twin flame? Okay, so Virgo, it seems that you have the king of wands, right? So in this deck, the king of wands like wants a lot of attention right? It's like the king of wands wants to be in charge. Someone kind of wants you to look at them in this very like magnetic way i don't know it's like they could want all of your attention or again this person i don't know if they're very loud or again they just want all eyes on them i don't know exactly what they have experienced when they were younger or just throughout their life but it seems like like i said it's like someone wants to be in the spotlight virgo someone wants some attention they want your attention again i don't know if they do things to kind of be seen to kind of be heard to maybe try to like impress you okay it's what i I'm getting but you may find that this person I don't know if they're very flirty or if they're just a bit maybe like different or not your normal type okay but it's something about it yeah it's something about the energy like I said maybe they aren't normally who you would date or talk to I do see that like I said there is a potential for happiness here Virgo there is a potential for fulfillment there is a potential for success as you do have the ten of cups in this energy you do have the ten of cups in this connection 
but it kind of just feels like, like I said, I'm sorry, it kind of just feels like Virgo, there's something about their energy that rubs you the wrong way. It's something about what they do. Spirit, tell me how this person is feeling towards Virgo. You could have children with this person, Virgo. Maybe you lived together with them. Maybe you were married to this individual or you are married. Tell me, what did I say? This person's energy? Is that what I said? If not, that's what I want. This person's energy, Spirit. So, Virgo, this person's energy, first of all, they had the devil, right? They had the devil. Um, now, I'm not sure. Maybe they are very obsessive, very controlling, or maybe they, I, I, I don't know what they do, Virgo. They could have some problems within. Again, like I said, it just kind of feels like the way that they come off or the things that they do sometimes could kind of rub you the wrong way. It's something about their energy where sometimes you feel like it doesn't connect with yours. I see that there's some type of argument or some type of disagreement that this person is going through. I'm not sure exactly what happens or what goes on. But I see this person fighting with someone, Virgo, okay, having some type of argument, some type of disagreement. I see that this person could be traveling or moving or they feel like they have a lot of different people in their energy. And to be honest, they're arguing with a lot of different people. Yes, arguing with a lot of different individuals. I don't know if this person moved or traveled, Virgo. Again, you just have this energy of not being able to come together. This person is wanting to move things forward with you, okay? Wanting to move things forward. I see some type of argument, Virgo. I see some type of disagreement that they have had. I don't know if this person was juggling, Virgo, at one point. You may have found out this person was doing something behind your back. It's almost given the grass is not green on, on the other side, okay? Again, because because wherever they move towards or wherever they travel, they're arguing, they're fussing with someone, they're upset. And so it looks like they had some type of decision that they had to make or this caused them to juggle, this caused them to go back and forth, caused them to be up and down. But now it kind of looks like they are trying to finalize some type of decision. It's like they're choosing you, Virgo. It's like someone wants to choose you. Mm-hmm. It's like they want to move things forward very fast. They want to move away from whatever this is. I'm not sure exactly what this person was tempted to do or what happens, but it almost feels like they regret doing that. They had the two of pentacles reversed. So it was definitely going back and forth or some indecisiveness, some up and down. So now you may find that they want to like call you or communicate with you because now they want to move things forward now i know that sounds crazy to some of you but that's what has happened it's like this person has gotten a dose of their own medicine or like i said someone thought the grass was greener on the other side and i promise you it wasn't yes i promise you it wasn't now they know exactly what they want to do they're making some type of decision you know, they're making some type of decision to release, to let whatever this is go. I cannot make it up. They have the tower. I am not lying to you. Now, this person may not want you to know this, Virgo. They may be trying to, like, play it cool, maybe trying to keep it together, but they are experiencing a tower moment in their world, okay? The magician reversed. I cannot make it up. Something is not manifesting. Something's not moving forward, not going the way they expected. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if they were tempted by someone. Or what happened, Virgo? But something something blew up. Yeah, something damn blew up. <laughs> yes, with this magician, I'm not sure if it was a Pisces. Okay, but something just backfired or something, you had the tower, it was unexpected. They didn't see whatever this was coming. Spirit clarify the tower. They had one plan and it was a whole nother plan. The king of pentacles reversed could have to do with money. I don't know if someone was trying to use this person for their money or uh, they got with someone who was easily impressed by money. Uh, was this this person wanted them to do something, pay for something, sign something? I don't know. I don't know if they tried to like get them intoxicated, but yes, this person is like moving forward. They experienced a huge tower moment, and it had to do with their money or their job or whoever this magician is, whoever this is that thought that they could trick them. Yeah, Virgo, someone got tricked. The trickster got tricked. The magician reverse is somebody who likes to trick you. Somebody, if it's reversed, you know, it's a trickster. Somebody who likes to play games, who likes to one-up. And I'm not sure if they try to use, like, substances or alcohol or whatever this is to help that. But it did not work. It did not work. Yeah, something blew up. 
And so they've had some type of argument or disagreement. It's like they've had trouble making some type of decision, but now they see clearly. Spirit, tell me Virgo's energy. Virgo, that's crazy. And I'd be damned if you think you're going to be running back to Virgo. No. Sometimes, Virgo, they got to go through their own shit. Seriously. Because what the hell? <laughs> So, like I said, with that justice card reverse, because this is your energy, Virgo. So, with that justice card reverse, I definitely see someone coming back towards you. Someone calling you, texting you, wanting to meet up with you. Okay, some type of movement or travel towards you, okay? But it's like, Virgo, whatever they're saying to you or whatever is happening, like, you have to really read between the lines. Because they could be telling you something didn't go as, like, planned or something didn't go right. But, of course, they're not going to be specific, Virgo, as you have the justice card reversed which indicates that they're going to kind of like butter it up you know it's like they're not going to tell you what really happened they're not going to take accountability you know they're not going to be honest of course because it's going to make them look crazy okay but again like i said i see that with this five of pentacles virgo you could be deciding to move something forward deciding to see it for what it is i had that it's like you are kind of releasing and focusing on yourself yeah it's like some type of illusion i don't know you could feel like this was an illusion I don't know if you block someone, Virgo, you stop talking to them. They just pop up. Yeah, I see like someone sending you messages. You're not really saying anything. Yeah, Virgo, you could have a new love that you're focused on. You could be focused on work. You know, you could be working and someone pops up at your job or someone calls and texts you. Okay, but I'm definitely saying something about love. Okay. Mm-hmm. So again, like I said, Virgo, it just kind of looks like yeah, it's like two different energies. It's just like I said, someone's not going to really tell you what happened, but some shit blew up over there. I promise you. And hence the reason they're trying to make their way back. Some shit blew up. I don't know if they thought someone looked very good or if they was impressed by what they thought someone was doing. But baby, her mask came off or his mask came off. The mask came off. Big tower moment. Spirit, what's the outcome for Virgo? It's weird because, Virgo, it definitely feels like someone's wearing a mask, and here's why. Because when you look at your energy, right, and you're just kind of looking at, you know, the obstacle within the situation, it's that you really could have happiness with someone, but they're over here with you. It's the Ten of Cups. They're taking family pictures. They're wanting to kumbaya, wanting to wear matching outfits. Let's plan this. Let's do that. But when you're not with them, they're the they're king of wands. Loud, wanting lots of attention, wanting to be the center, like, of the spotlight. You know, I feel like their energy is kind of what creates this, you know? It's like two different people. Someone has to be true to themselves, authentic, real real because someone here may have been afraid to like open up or show it or I don't know if they hang around certain people that makes them feel like they have to be the king of wands but it's like they want to have the ten of cups so it's back and forth you know because when you see them they don't even look like the king of wands they look like a whole different person a whole different person you know but then when you're not with them it's like turn up you know or look at me I don't know winking at people and flirting could be okay the outcome virgo the seven of swords someone feels like you're you're moving in silence or again you you're not talking to them yeah this queen of cups someone's wanting this good old energy that virgo normally gives very beautiful very attractive virgo you can have a tattoo on your foot or your hand okay but again like i said i just see that whoever this is they're thinking about you they're wanting that healing energy back but I don't know if you're necessarily giving it because you have the seven of swords. So that's like holding back. That's like not really saying anything. Secrets and shit. It's like not being able or having all of the answers, but not even like really being able to say anything or having to keep quiet, like removing yourself and focusing on you. I don't know if you're doing something with water, Virgo. Okay, but I just see you're very beautiful, very attractive. Yeah, someone's trying to keep their secrets hidden, Virgo. They're up late at night. It's driving them crazy. And here you are very beautiful, very attractive. Someone could have been up late last night. The Queen of Pentacles, you could feel like this affects your stability. You know, you could feel like this affects what you have going on. And so you're just deciding to put this energy into you for the time being. Okay, it's what it looks like, Virgo. But yeah, I don't know. It's given two different nights. 
um, again, the Ace of Swords. So now at this point, Virgo, they made you set he like heavy boundaries. Although you're very beautiful, although you're very attractive, I don't see like you just allowing someone to come back in and kumbaya. It's like you're holding back. You're very honest about what you want. You're setting your boundaries and you're going towards that. Yeah, I see that at first maybe you were trying to get the benefit, trying to be nice, but now I see swords up. It's like, nope, heavy boundaries implemented at this point because you got me effed up. This was somebody saying you have the three of wands, so you're moving forward, setting boundaries. And it's like you're not even looking at this person. You're very beautiful, Virgo. You could be drinking wine or I see like a nice little cup or mug. This could be coffee that you're drinking. I like your mug. Yeah, see, it seems like you feel like you haven't been able to break a cycle. It seems like you feel like the same thing has been happening. And it's like you could be tired of this. Yeah, it's like something makes you feel like you don't have good luck or you may feel like something just disrupts your energy. Yeah. So, Spirit, again, what do you want Virgo to do? And we're done. And Virgo, I'll see you tomorrow on Patreon. That information is in the description box below. Okay, so Virgo, I see that you feel like there's been some type of delay or there's been some type of stagnation, right? Again, I don't know exactly what happens or what goes on, but I see that it's like you could have been waiting for someone who you feel like is a little immature, a little childish, not really talking. I see someone watching you, though. I see someone paying attention to you. It's almost like they can't even move forward because they're so busy looking at you. But again, like I said, Virgo, it's like you're waiting for this new beginning. You're waiting to move forward. Spirit says you don't have to wait for this energy okay with that nine of swords it stresses you out you know and you're trying to be stress-free so again like i said it just kind of feels like you know someone's wanted to come back someone's wanted to reconcile they're not wanting to fuss or argue maybe you knew someone was coming back but again maybe someone's wanted to talk to you at night virgo i see you being up all night but i see that you kind of just feel like this isn't giving you what you want i see that you feel like you've lost hope in this yeah, with that two of swords, it's like maybe, you know, that's why I said it could be talking at night. You end up turning your back or just doing something else. Like I said, with the world, I just don't see it moving forward. I don't. Three of swords. Yeah, I just don't see it moving for, uh, forward. I don't. It's like you're focusing on other things. Yes, yeah, building. Yeah, there's some type of arguments or disagreements. I just see it not working. Mm -hmm. And when I say not working, I see that it's like there's this energy of you feeling defeated. There's shattered glass. Maybe you broke a mirror, Virgo. Or maybe the flowers died unexpectedly. Okay. It could be raining. Okay. But I'm just saying something about this sword's energy where you're just feeling like it's too much betrayal. It's too much. It's like someone's wanted to move it forward with you because they have just gone through some spiritual transformations and they see it clearly. But you're like, I've been there. I've done that. And so I can't continue to wait for you. I, I just can't pray and hope that you'll get yourself together because what if you don't? So again, you have that page of pentacles manifesting creating and planting new roots and new soil you could have a dog you could be doing something in your backyard or something with like mother nature greenery plants your grass like landscaping for some of you yeah and you're making a decision maybe you feel like you know someone just wanted to have sex with you and maybe you feel like you know you're past that you're like i could do that with anybody i want more three of pentacles and so i see that you're like creating a whole new world for yourself virgo mm -hmm. i see that you'll have a lot of help coming in in the near future you could have multiple people interested in you in the near future and you could be the one who has to pick but it was definitely something going on with this magician energy somebody got tricked mm -hmm. strength card c it's like you're triggered. You want to be left alone. Yeah, I don't know what they're saying, Virgo, during this conversation, but you want to be left alone. Uh, whatever this is, since you went to hermit mode, it sent you into a transformation. But when you come out, you're going to be a much different energy. I cannot make it up. You have the six of swords. So, Virgo, there's going to be a change in plans and love. It almost seems like you decide to focus on yourself. You decide to take back your energy. Because mm -hmm. you're going through this transformation. You're very quiet. It's like you're a lot more quiet than usual. The things you would normally argue about, complain about, 
just say something about you're like completely on QT. Like you're not saying anything because again, it's like you're doing a lot of soul searching. There's going to be a lot of things that you end up removing. You're going through a transformation, Virgo, and you're moving towards better times. Spirit, does Virgo have new love coming in? Can Virgo expect new love once this is over? Yep. <laughs> you sure can because you're going to set so many boundaries. You're going to set so many different like rules, Virgo. It's almost like if it doesn't align, you're not wasting your time. The only thing is Virgo spirit does say there is new love coming in, but it does require you to step outside of your comfort zone as well. You know, it requires you to step outside of your comfort zone and it also requires you to know that this past situation, the next situation is not going to be like that. So don't hold those people accountable for what they or the past person has done because they didn't do that to you so we're gonna do see that you could have new love and maybe people are wanting your number or wanting to go out with you but you had to say yes okay you will have to say yes okay virgo and just be careful because not everyone is going to have the same morals and standards so i do see keep your boundaries set you know, don't let them down for anyone. If you feel like, you know, someone is wanting to be around you or near you and it's just not worth it, then say no. I see lots of self-love. I see you getting some type of invite, some type of offer, and that's how you could be meeting this new love. Mm -hmm. You could be meeting this new love when you're out somewhere else, Virgo. I see that again, like I said, it's like you may feel like you just haven't found anyone that's on your level that you can connect with. You may have been going out, but you still feel alone or it's all about work or all about the children. But like I said, Virgo, I see things changing. Okay. Yeah. So it's like you're questioning and wondering, will you be able to have the love you desire? Will you be able to have the love you deserve? And the answer is yes. OK. Again, like I said, you just haven't been getting what you want in this situation, but that doesn't define you. This person didn't know how to treat you. They messed it up, but that's their loss, Virgo. You move forward and you're creating new beginnings for yourself. The nine of pentacles. OK. Yes, you will have love. Yes, you will have stability. Look how good she feels, Virgo. Yes, you're going to get back to yourself yes you have lots of new people like i said in, uh, coming your way wanting to like invite you places and go out with you and move forward you just have to be careful and use your discernment if something doesn't feel right don't waste your time okay and with that being said virgo i'll see you tomorrow on patreon that link is in the description box below i appreciate all your comments all your feedback thank you so much virgo and until next time god bless